Hi everyone, so today we're going to be talking about inputting and outputting things into variables or just in general into the computer. So the way I like to think of it is like you're having, let's say a playlist, uh, let's say it's just playlist number 15, your 15th playlist, just something simple. Boom. So inputting is kind of like adding a song. So you want to, let's say, boom, add, add a song, song. Boom, let's say uh, 2055. Many, maybe some of you have heard it by a uh, sleepy. Oh, hello. Boom, there. That's your input. And an output or a print statement is kind of like going into that playlist and seeing what the name was. Maybe someone asked you, hey, what's the name of that song you were listening to? Oh, let me go into my playlist. Print, or not that. Not right now, but just say, oh, yeah, it's a 2055. It's a pretty good song, you know, something as simple as that. So the way we would write it is like I was mentioning input and output. So you're kind of inputting a song into your playlist. And then later you might be able to print or output a song out of it just to tell someone the name or just to see what the name was or by who it was. So how do we write that kind of this way? So let's say input, you ask a question, input, boom. What was the name of the song? Or uh, what song would you like to ask? What song would you like that to add? And you might be like, okay, that's all you have to do. Let's see what happens if we try and run it. It's going to run an error. Why? Because whenever you have to, whenever you try to input or print something out, if you provide some kind of text that asks a user something or in a print statement, you tell the user something else, you always have to have quotation marks. So what you would have to do is go into here, boom, fixes that problem, but you always have to have it at the end as well. Boom. And let's try and run this again see the differences uh, clear this real quick and then okay there we go and you see how there is no space so like let's say I put 21 it's gonna be right next to it you can either tab when you go into the input so for this case do this tab 21 fixes it or you can not even have to deal with that by let me show you just clear this just adding a little space after you ask the user for an input. Boom. So we inputted something. Simple, right? However, we're not storing any information to any variables like we talked about in the variables video. We're just inputting and outputting. So I could also do something like this. Print. Boom. I'm just printing a statement, you know, not asking for anything else. So I just do printed the statement asking a question, but not asking for anything else. So you could either ask a question this way and then do something like this. Just ask for an input in a new line or, an, or underneath your question. So what would happen would be here. Boom. Ask the question and then underneath it's asking you to input whatever you want. So what song would you like to add? Say it again, 2055. And boom, you're done. You're not storing anything. You're not dealing with having to call variables again, not yet at least. So we're just asking a simple question and then what the user wants to input in. Or like I mentioned, you can do it in one stripe by just putting input and then quotation marks your question and boom, it'll let you input anything you want. So for this case, we can also assign variables. So let's say print a question like that. What song would you like to add? Let's say I want to sort my variable, so song name, boom, input, control S, clear, boom, 20. Nothing happens as well. But now, something that the computer did was store that song name as song name, <laughs> the variable name. So whenever you read in an input into a variable, it's always going to read it as a string because that's what you inputted, a string. Even though I put in numbers, it's going to read it as a string. 
I could, however, do something like this, enter, and then int song name. Boom. There, I converted the song name into an integer that I could later use to manipulate however I want to. If I want to add, subtract, we'll get into that a bit more in the future, but these are just simple inputs and outputs. So let's say I wanted to say, oh, that's a good song. I would say print, then in quotation marks, I heard that. And then if I want to put the song name back in there, I wouldn't just put song name. If I do that, let's see what happens. I heard that song name is a good song. So let's leave it at that. Boom. Let's see how it works. What song would you like to add? 735. So it didn't give us the song name that we wanted to put. It just gave us back the variable name. The reason being, whenever you want to get back that variable and put it into a, a print out statement, you're going to have to kind of manipulate the way you write the text. So in this case, you'd have to put a quotation mark at the end. And then, give me a sec, uh, add. You'd have to add it. When you add strings, you just put plus, something like this. So I heard that in quotation marks, which is what you're telling the computer to write back. And then the variable name, you add it. No quotation marks needed. And then just add. And then again, at the very end, you're going to have to put quotation around the words that you have left. So let's try this. Boom. Clear. And 2055. Boom. Okay, we ran into a little issue. You see that there's no space between our last word in the quotation, the, vari we want, the variable we wanted to put in, and the next part of our uh, the rest of our statement. The reason being, uh, printing out is kind of sensitive to what's, uh, what we talked about, white space. So what you want to do whenever you print out statements, whenever you print out statements and there's a variable that you need to put somewhere in the middle, you will go up here before you put the last quotation mark, just put a space. That's simple. Boom. Boom. Now, when we go over here, let me see, actually. When we go over here to try and print it. Boom. Um, boom. And 20.5. Got rid of that issue. Nice and easy. Now we're done. So now we were able to input. Um, out uh, print a question input a statement from the user a song name and we print it out a little statement with that variable that we had saved as a song name and then everything else so like I said kind of like putting a song into a playlist you add a song your input and then when someone asks for the song name you give it to them that's your output or your print it's that simple uh, later on we'll figure out how to manipulate kind of whatever a user puts in, maybe do some addition, some subtracting. But for now, these are just simple ways to print whatever you want, input things into a variable, and then print them back out. I hope you guys enjoyed.